Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So some of you may remember that a few weeks ago I did a testing Lottie London makeup video, which by the way is now in stock in like stores and online and stuff like that. So I will leave links to the products down below in case you couldn't get hold of them last time. I lied to you in that video though, because that wasn't everything. They also sent me their Mermaid Glow Highlighter. So I thought if there's a highlighter that warrants a video dedicated to it, this is the one. So I have already had highlighter on today. I've kept it on like my inner corner and my cupid's bow and things like that. I've tried to blot it down as much as I could on my cheekbones because that's where we're gonna be focusing today. I'm gonna do the full like stripe rainbow on this side and I'm gonna kind of mix the colors together and see what we can come up with on this side. Fingers crossed it's somewhat wearable because I have to leave the house in about 10 minutes. So let's see how this goes. So this is what it looks like and I'm actually just gonna swatch my finger straight across and you guys may not be able to see that, I'll do close-ups. But it's not too intense, which I'm kind of happy about. So if we stripe it across, you can't really even see it too much there. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a big brush. This one is a rodeo brush. Um, and I'm gonna kind of squish it and bring it across like that. That looks pretty. Okay, so let's see. Nothing's really come out. So I'm gonna try and take the colors individually, I think. Um, I'll do them with a little fluffy brush and we'll see how that works. So I'm taking this pink shade first. Pop that one there. That gives a nice glow. Then we'll go in with the orange one. Again, another nice glow. The yellow. I'm gonna run out of cheekbone space in a minute. So far that's pretty blinding. I don't know about you guys, but that's like icy. And then we're going for the green. I feel like some of these could maybe be dupes for the Anastasia Moonchild. This is the blue. Okay, so you can start to see the colours here. So I turn my little face. And then there's a little bit of the purple just there. So yeah, that is what it looks like when it's striped. This could be really good for editorial makeup or I think it would just be really good if, say, you want to play around with, I don't know, say you want to do like a bluey makeup look, chuck in a blue highlighter as well. I am pretty impressed with how blinding it is though. Okay, so next I'm going to take my fluffy brush and I'm going to swirl it all around. And we'll see how this goes. Probably not ideal to use a fluffy brush actually, but we'll thin it out again like we did before. So I'm just going to squish it and not ideal me doing it with a big powder brush like this, but like that glow is pretty blinding from where I'm sitting. I don't know about you guys. It turns into more of like an icy color. I think that's probably like the blues and the greens making it a bit more cool toned. So this side, you can really see the stripes, but when it's all in one, I think that's actually really, really pretty. I don't tend to like more cool tone highlighters that much, but this one I can get on board with. And uh, looking up closely, it does just look like a more silvery highlighter. To be honest, this isn't even too bad. I think the only colour that sort of jars it a bit is the green one. But I'm going to see what it looks like when you kind of blend it in like that. It's like a blended stripe. It does give you a sort of mermaid glow to you. But you can honestly see how blinding that is. I'm going to actually grab the sort of warmer colors, so the top three here. And I'm gonna apply it more into my cheekbones here. It's a really nice formula. I mean, it is a bit of a gimmick to have like a rainbow highlighter. It's more about how it looks in the pan, about how it looks on your face, I think. Especially if you're pale, I feel like this would work really, really well if you had really fair skin. Mixed together, I think it's stunning. 
when it's all separate, maybe not so much, but yeah, I think I think it's actually pretty good. So again, I'll just quickly swatch these for you guys just so you can actually see the pigmentation. Try not to get all the colours on the wrong finger. So there's some of the colours there. As you can see, they're all fairly pastel-y, so they're not really out there, but if I can show you guys here. When you actually put them on, they have just got like a slight tinge almost. It's not a full-on colour. It is just more of a like a subtle hint. So if you are looking for like a dupe of the Moonchild palette or anything like that, then this could be your answer. And it's super cheap as well. I think this is $4.99 or $5.99. It's one of those two. Um, but yeah, it's all available online now. So if you do want to buy it, I'll leave a link down below. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Just something short and sweet. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me. I post every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. Also, let me know if you've tried any rainbow highlighters or anything like that and how you wear them. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.